Hey everyone, this is Mark Phillip at Studica, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Fisher Technic Introduction to STEM 2 kit. So I'm going to basically just open it up and show you the contents of the box and talk a little bit about what all you get from this kit. Now the Fisher Technic Intro to STEM 2 kit is designed for students in grades 3 to 5. It contains grade specific standards based curriculum and activities that help introduce students to uh, programming and simple robotics using examples that are seen in day-to-day -day life. Uh, it's important to note that each kit is designed to be used in a class by two students at a time. And if you want more information on these, you can find it on our website at www.studica.com. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. So first off, you just take the plastic off. And you have the front panel here. Shows you the product, gives you some information. If you turn that over, you'll see a list of parts. And you'll see... Uh, examples of what you can build over here on the right side. Now the first thing you want to look at, the first thing you should see in your kit is this quick start guide. So this quick start guide, you want to be sure that you read through the whole thing before you actually start building anything. And the reason is because this is going to tell you uh, specifically everything that's in your kit and it's also going to give you a link to download the curriculum from. So it's important to note that the curriculum will not actually come in the box. The curriculum will be downloadable in a PDF format off of a website that will be listed here on the Quick Start Guide. So you need to make sure you find that. And to give you an idea of what the curriculum looks like, here's a draft version. So this is not complete. Uh, it's roughly 110 pages and you can kind of see the thickness there. And basically this gives you a bunch of lesson plans, grading rubrics, uh, it tells you what standards are addressed, and activities and things like that to help teach your class with this, uh, with this specific kit. So again, this goes over robotics and a little bit of programming and things like that. So it's really important that you get this, and uh, once you have the PDF, you can print it off and use it how you see fit in your classroom. Going back to the quick start guide here, on the second page we see that there's a section that tells you how to organize and basically maintain your materials before you start building a lab and after you're done using them. Uh, there's also a section that tells you how to identify different parts. You can see here on the diagram, there's two uh, red objects here. They look very similar, but there's a difference between a 30 degree and a 60 degree slope on them. So. Uh, it's good to look at this and kind of get an idea of how the parts may differ so that you don't get confused when you might be working through a specific lab. The Quick Start Guide will also point you to a couple of different pages in the curriculum that will tell you how the Fisher Technic systems uh, fit together, so specifically how the components snap together with one another. And lastly, there's a reference here in Step 7 that points you to pages 63 and 67 of the curriculum, uh, which is an exercise that tells you how to build a really simple model. So the idea here is to get you or your students familiar with how to use Fisher Technic systems before you really dive into the, uh, to the main exercises that are involved in the curriculum. Think of it almost like a tutorial to just introduce you to the concepts here so that you have a better idea. So after the quick start guide, you'll see a CD here, and this CD is the RoboPro Lite software. The RoboPro Lite software is used with a couple of the labs uh, to help you program the robots by using the RoboLT controller, which you'll see when I get to the parts here. And then underneath that, you have the installation instructions for the software. And then here what we have is the actual uh, building manuals. So what this is going to show you is how you assemble the different models and it will also show you how you wire the RoboLT controller for the different uh, build paths that you decide to go with here. This is in multiple languages. It's really comprehensive, full color, very detailed. Then here we have what looks like almost the same thing except black and white. However, this is a guide that tells you how to program using that RoboPro software. 
So there will be different uh, labs within here, such as creating a pedestrian light, for instance, uh, staircase lighting, sliding door. And this will basically tell you how to actually do the programming within RoboPro. And this is all based on the way that you wire the controller uh, as according to the instructions within the building manual. Uh, so then we have the baseboard here. This is where you, this is basically the foundation of your kit. So you'll start building from the ground up on top of this platform. And then we have all our parts listed here. Uh, you'll notice that there's a few different wires involved for wiring things from the kit to the controller. Uh, you have a motor here, you have a USB cable, which is used to connect here on the Robo LT controller. Uh, and it goes right into your computer. So. This is the controller. And that is all that comes in the introduction to STEM2 kit from Fisher Technic. So again, if you have any interest in pricing or you might want to get some of these kits for your classroom or maybe even for yourself, check out our website at www.studica.com. If you have any questions or anything, you can contact us through our website and we'll be happy to answer them for you. So uh, with that being said, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.